CSM has long been a strong part of the Southern Maryland economic engine, employing over 1,000 people, earning over $50 million in wages and benefits. The college is known for its stellar transfer programs, nursing and allied health programs, trades and transportation programs, athletic teams, arts, world-ranked robotics team, and so much more. Additionally, 88% of CSM graduates remain in Southern Maryland, and those degrees and certificates add another $238.5 million to our regional income. CSM creates economic mobility for its graduates with real wage gains. This academic year has been like no other. However, CSM was prepared. From March 19th, when the college went remote, through the summer, the CSM community worked quickly to meet the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. At CSM, we've always focused on remote learning um, through the history of the college and had a really good set of core faculty who knew how to do that. So when the pandemic hit, we took what we learned from that and expanded it. So one of the things that faculty did a couple of years ago was something called ORP, which is Online Academic Rigor and Presence. And it's 48 standards from design to delivery to presence to assessment that faculty follow in their online courses. And we broaden that because we're 100% remote. Faculty did massive amounts of training in this as well, and they just did a fabulous job in discussing things that worked and things that didn't, um, and, and really provided the best experience for students so that they could learn the objectives for the particular course. Faculty were well prepared for the move to virtual learning and created three modes of learning. Web-based, which is all online, real-time technology, which is synchronous technology, and hybrid, which meets both online and in person. Student outreach uncovered that our students were hit hard economically by the pandemic and struggled with technology and basic needs, including mental health. At CSM, we provide our students no-cost food options in our micropantries located on all campuses. When the pandemic hit and our physical spaces closed, we transitioned to a mobile hog feeder, which were drive-up distribution events. We gave over 350 students more than 8,000 pounds of food. We also have a laptop loaner program, which to date we have distributed more than 125 laptops to our students. Counseling Services was really, really glad to be able to continue our much needed role with our student population, providing individual counseling for students who we were seeing prior to going to remote and then new students who were needing mental health services and resources. And we were really, really glad to be able to continue to provide that for our students. We were able to continue our partnerships with Student Life and with Men of Excellence, and we were able to bring uh, mental health specific talent talk topics to our student population, which were very well received and you know much needed to help with the adjustment and transition that our students were facing during this time. As part of the pandemic response, the college chose to use a significant part of its own CARES Act funds, as well as raise funds to support our struggling students. The pandemic had a significant impact on our students. Over 2,100 of our students received over $1.25 million in CARES Act funds. These were emergency funds distributed directly to students and not used to pay for outstanding tuition and fees. The college recognized that students needed additional assistance. So we were able to allocate over $800,000 of institutional CARES Act funding specifically geared towards retention scholarships for the fall and spring semesters. While the CARES Act money helped me in a variety of ways, it opened up so many doors for me. My grandmother suffered a stroke back in the fall of 2019, so I found myself having to take care for her. Being a student at CSM, I just went through the motions of applying for FAFSA the next spring as I do in February. I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. Fortunately, once I received my financial aid letter from CSM, it said I had CARES Act money and I broke down in tears because I honestly didn't know how I was going to come up with the money to continue my tenure here at CSM. So this CARES Act money has opened so many doors within the last year for me and I feel honored and I know I'm not the only one who got it. It truly just touches my heart that CSM found it in their heart to share this money with us and that the CARES Act was able to do that for people just like me who had no clue how they were going to finish their education. When the pandemic hit, the CSM Foundation quickly changed focus to raise money for affected students through the Help a Hawk Fund. 
For the 2020-2021 academic year, the CSM Foundation has already awarded more than $800,000 to both credit and continue education students. One of the initiatives set forth by Dr. Murphy is the Help a Hawk Scholarship, which covers the cost of one three-credit course for a student. We've already seen a success rate of 96% of students who were offered that scholarship used it to continue their studies. Our students need our help more than ever right now. No student should have to choose between affording to live and affording to learn. Community colleges are social justice through education. George Floyd's murder at the end of May brought the horror of anti-Black racism to the forefront of our thinking. Both the Board of Trustees and I issued statements. However, the Office of Equity and Inclusive Diversity took the lead in helping our college community work through their reactions. So, you know, we had the pandemic in the background of uh, you know, a series of incidents happening, the Ahmaud Arbery case and Breonna Taylor and then George Floyd happened. And understanding that people were shaken by the very public killing of George Floyd and that they needed some way to process that, to make sense of how something like that could happen today, we offered CSM's 30 Day Justice Challenge. We challenged people to spend eight minutes, 46 seconds a day learning about anti-black racism. Nearly 200 people joined from all over Southern Maryland and we read articles, websites, poetry. We watched films and TED Talks. We listened to music. But most importantly, we talked to each other. We shared what we were learning and feeling about entering into the experience of black people in America. It was truly powerful, deep learning. As a community college, CSM is integral to the regional response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been supporting the Charles County Health Department in their education and outreach efforts to businesses for post-COVID and recovery strategies. We've been very privileged to work with Charles County Health Department to create a training for 15 outreach workers that are servicing the business community, helping them with safety and sanitation protocols so they can uh, return to operations and serve the public adequately. We've also worked with the county to create online on-demand trainings that are free to Charles County businesses, and uh, we're just privileged to be a part of that process. In March, once we successfully moved our operations to a remote environment, we reached out to our community partners to see how we could help. We offered them the use of our buildings or our parking lots and any COVID-19 related activities. We've hosted blood drives at both the La Plata campus and the Prince Frederick campus, and worked with the Calvert County Health Department to provide a site at our Prince Frederick campus for COVID-19 screening. Through that site, hundreds of citizens have received COVID-19 screening tests. By late summer, we realized two things. One, the College of Southern Maryland would continue to operate mostly virtually for the remainder of the academic year. And two, the College of Southern Maryland is the front line for our regional economic recovery. CSM had a choice, continue reacting to this pandemic or shape our work to meet the future. We chose the latter. And the result is the CSM New Deal. The CSM New Deal is supported by three pillars, learning for economic mobility, the 21st century workforce, and revising the CSM footprint. Let's consider learning for economic mobility. The College of Southern Maryland works to close Southern Maryland's wealth gap by providing learners with high quality, affordable programs that allow graduates access to high demand careers right here in the region. CSM is the front line for higher education and we see the fruit of CSM's work in action as we watch our regional pandemic response. CSM has produced thousands of first responders and healthcare workers and continues to keep that pipeline open. Equity is at the forefront of our work, and in 2019, CSM joined Achieving the Dream, a national network of 277 colleges in 44 states that focuses on institutional transformation and closing equity gaps. This year, CSM launched its Achieving the Dream Action Plan. 
there are three teams that support the action plan. The first team is clarifying the paths, which focuses on student success and making sure the entry points are available for students. The second team is systemizing the supports, which focuses on the technology and how students move through the system. And the third team is demystifying the finances, so the families and students understand all those things that go into the financial planning aspects of their college education. CSM has also launched an immediate response to the needs highlighted by the pandemic through three initiatives. Charles County Health Department contract training, getting Southern Maryland back to work collaboration with the Southern Maryland Workforce Development Board, and ACT's Work Ready Communities. As a leader in educational technology, CSM has been able to continue supporting our learners and has developed a form of synchronous distance learning called Real-Time Technology, or RTT, that is designed to facilitate a safe return to campus. The two other pillars, Revising the Footprint and the 21st Century Workforce, are providing the college with opportunities for innovation. CSM is in the midst of a new facilities master plan, which is providing an opportunity to look differently at how our buildings function to support our mission. What if, instead of asking whether students are college ready, we ask whether the college is student ready? CSM has asked that question. Two thirds of our students are part-time in the paid workforce and have significant family responsibilities. Little in their lives fits into our concept of the traditional college student. That's why CSM is changing. Beginning fall 2021, the majority of CSM classes and programs will be offered in compressed terms year round. To support our students in the new seven week compressed schedule, we've created a comprehensive advising experience for each student. In each academic pathway, we will have student success teams comprised of professional advisors, uh, student support coordinators, faculty advisors, as well as um, staff from the financial aid office, from cooperative education, and other support services. So as a part of this comprehensive advising experience, we will have professional staff and faculty devoted to the academic success and matriculation of our students at the College of Southern Maryland. Our students struggle with food insecurity, and we've learned to take our Hawk Feeder program mobile. We've been able to expand it through regional partnerships and have distributed thousands of pounds of food to our students and their families. This work will continue. Most importantly, we have learned that very little money makes a difference in our students' ability to continue their studies, which is critical in these uncertain times. Funding students works. Our goal is to increase to 2,500 scholarships for the beginning of fall 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted every element of our lives, and now is the time to create the future we need for all Southern Marylanders. The road to recovery for our region runs through the College of Southern Maryland, and we stand ready to serve. <laughs>